So, another day, another developer discussion. Hello everyone and welcome to the third installment of the Genshin news series and for today's video, we'll be covering the developers discussion for the 25th of October. So we have a, quite a few interesting stuff to look at. So let's start off with the Trans Domain Quick Challenge feature. So as you guys may know it, Trans Domains are the domains that you can use to fight your weekly bosses, which are only unlocked upon completing certain prerequisite quests. With this new feature, the Quick Challenge feature, players will no longer have to complete the quest in order to unlock these domains instead what they could do is they could open their handbook and just navigate their way there so you don't actually have to finish the quest in order to get your weeklies done but this is only for travelers who have reached the adventure rank 40 and this update will be applied from version 4.2 onwards honestly i think this is a pretty good change i know you know they say it's like it's not it's not under development it's indicative it's not indicative for the final product but i think this would be really helpful for newer players especially if you get a new character and you want to farm their level that match right because past talent level 6 like 6 to 7 or 6 all the way to 10 you do need the weekly boss mats in order to level that up and the thing about weekly boss mats is that they reset once a week so if you don't have time to do the weekly right now because you don't have time to finish the quest you're going to be missing an entire week of resources which isn't really good so i think this is a very good thing for early on players especially for the early ar40 players though do note that this doesn't work for the boreas wolf fight because he's in the overworld funny enough that because he is the only boss in the overworld that is actually a weekly boss now moving on to the next update so story quest optimization if you guys are not familiar with this every time there is a new five star character like we have developed and recently this patch we will be getting a story quest for each of them of which you can unlock with these uh, commission keys so I forgot what they're called. Story keys, yes. So previously, with the Nuvilet one, is that if you unlock the story quest, the game will immediately trigger and activate the quest. And why this is not a good thing for some players, especially in this condition, is that sometimes you'll be walking into places where, let's say you want to do your expeditions, you want to go talk to Catherine, or you want to go craft some stuff, or you need to do some reputation or request, right? And the quest is started by accident. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Because you want to unlock it, but you didn't mean to start the quest right now and there is no option to skip or cancel and that can be quite annoying. So with this new optimization, the act of unlocking and activating it will be separate so that you don't have to deal with such a thing. And another issue would be, you know, sometimes there are certain quests, like I think the Lini story quest has an NPC tied to it, which is involved in the daily commission system. So if you have the Lini quest activated, you literally are locked out from doing a daily commission. So I think this is a very good thing. And the second part of it is that if the story quest and hangouts have a prerequisite quest or prerequisite things that you need to do there'll be a pop-up that tells you the list of things that you need to complete in order to access it and also a navigation system by clicking the button right to it and now for the third feature this is more of a minor but it's actually pretty big the map him limits are increased to 200 and i believe right now we have about up to 180 from the original was it 100 or 150 or something like that and the increase is nice however the biggest w in this update is that there's a feature to batch delete pins if you're some like me where you want to collect all these oculi like in Fontaine all the different hydroculus after you explore it for a bit and you're like okay i've collected every single hydroculus in the game right now that is available i want to delete all these random helical patches on the screen but there's no option to batch delete it so i just couldn't be bothered well rejoice any place who can share that same sentiment because i don't know how this is going to work but the ability to batch delete pins would be really helpful if you guys use the map pins a lot so yeah that's pretty nice and finally for the last update it's not very relevant to most players but this might actually be kind of nice for anyone who intends to play TCG. So from version 4.2 onwards, there'll be an accelerate dual feature, which essentially it just accelerates any sort of animations, anything happening within a TCG round. And personally, I really like this because I haven't really been motivated to play TCG. And one of the reasons is that I cannot be bothered to just watch the roll dice animation, the fight animation. I just I'm just left there sitting there just waiting for the thing to happen when I just want to get this done and over with. So for those who want to min-max that part of things, uh, rejoice for any current TCG players. I think this would be a very nice feature, especially when you're going against NPCs because the sheer amount of NPCs that you want to go through in all the different regions is a lot. So I guess it's pretty nice for non-PVPers. And apparently there's a deck sharing code right here which allows players to share their decks with other players. And I think this is nice for the community overall. So that you can see, you know, what people try, maybe you promote some sort of interaction between people, or maybe you can share your own weird decks or your own really good decks with your fellow friends and uh, fellow players in the community. But other than that, I think this is it for this episode. It's a bit short, but I would say most of the changes are very good. It's little, there could be more, 
but it's better than nothing. So as usual, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe for more content. I'm still working on the Ballad of the Fjords testing. I should get that up maybe by this week or next week, hopefully. And if you guys want to read the entire post in detail, I'll leave a link down in the description to this developer discussion. Also, by the time that this is recorded and posted, the live stream is going to be happening quite literally tomorrow. So be sure to keep your eyes out for that. I may make a summarized version. I may not. We'll see about it. But anyways, I wish you all a great day. This is Ethereal signing off.